Want to kiss the camera again? Yeah, y'all are getting attacked by Peter. Stop being so angry. Goodness. What's up, party people? Long time no see. It has just been hectic and busy and just really haven't, uh, we haven't really made any videos. So today we're going through, we're just gonna feed, uh, feed the iguanas, feed the tortoises. That's my knee. There's Sully. We got Tammy who's just deciding for some reason to chase him off a little bit. I don't know. Hey, Tam Tam. Hey, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the beautiful people out there. Okay, go back down. Whatever. Then we got our big boy Sully here who's puffing up just a little bit. But that's normal. Breeding season, you know, so he's getting a little hormonal. Look at that. So a lot of rhino iguanas, as they start getting older and bigger, like they're, I want to say they're their dorsal muscle, I guess, or whatever you want to call that. It's really just more skin. Just look how pronounced that is. That's pretty crazy. Golly, these guys are just awesome, though. And of course, blown light bulb. So, hey, uh, Phillips or any other brand who still makes halogen lights, if you want to sponsor me, I'll use a lot of your products. Yeah. But all right, so yeah, let's, uh, let's just get some food for these goobers here. And then we'll go and say hello to everybody else. Let me uh, get this little tripod here set up so we can, uh, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, people. You know that. You're just along for the ride and laughing at my expense. There we go, that'll work. So today is came mustard greens. Real easy, super easy. Oh, I love when they scratch their face like a dog like that. And I just, but some people use food dishes. We're not that sophisticated. Um, because they're just, they're smart enough, they know not to eat things that they're not supposed to eat. So anytime that you you got multiple iguanas sharing a uh, an enclosure like this, especially once they're older and they can be territorial or more territorial, always feed in two, dip, two separate locations with a visual barrier. Because um, right now they're doing okay. So I mean, I've got food here, I've got food there, but sometimes they just don't want to share from the same spot. And... Hi, Tammy. Rhinos are the best, aren't they? Hey, where are you? Get your butt in here. <laughs> what a little goober, man. Why are you trying to escape into the cold basement? Yeah, if y'all love rhinos, leave a comment down below. Tell us uh, which one of our four rhinos is your favorite. Well, let's uh, say goodbye to these guys and let's go check out the other two. Alrighty, here in our other case, we got our big boy Ron, we got Crazy Crazy Bindi. And these guys are real fun. Like I said, man, let us know. Who's your favorite? I mean, I don't like playing favorites, but I mean, Ron is just... Look at that boy. Just from getting him, and he was a gosh darn Looney Tune. Just from him changing from that into this. I mean, that right there is a picture. It's a statue. I mean... That right there is a quintessential happy cyclora. Standing up nice and tall, head up, got the tail, which is pointing down to the ground. If there was more ground there, it would be touching the ground. So it is just, oh my goodness. It's got all these old dead skins off here. Can't wait for him to shed. You can see this was from where his, uh, a gnarly little wound from a few weeks back was. He's finally starting to uh, to shed off a lot of that, which makes me very, very happy. That means that he is uh, healing up really, really nice. And underneath all of that, it should be absolutely perfect. Isn't that right, Ronald? Say nothing if you agree. I think he agrees. <laughs> what a little goober, man. You go boy. You go boy. All right, let's get these guys some food. Of course, we got a little psycho Bindi. She is just, it's, she is just so weird. I've talked about in the past how, you know, she was doing so great. And then, you know, just kept escaping out of their old cage before I kind of got all that fixed to <laughs> so keep it from happening. And she's just coming out so much, and we're constantly just having to, you know, find her in the basement. She'd be in the basement loose for, you know, days at a time. And, you know, we would just always have to grab her. And that's never a good thing to do, to forcibly grab, hold, restrain. Um, 
but I guess just we did it, we had to do it so much, unfortunately, because, you know, it's not like the basement is a, you know, fully wide open area that it was easy, that she just, I don't know. Oh, she got a little, uh, I think she might have gotten uh, a little action there. Oh, she kind of ran away there, but it looked like there was a, maybe a little bit of dried blood on her back. So I guess maybe, uh, one of them maybe was being a little rough with her. Yeah, you can now see, let's see if I can zoom in, right there. I don't know, that doesn't look like a wound. Interesting. A little bit on her knee right there. Sully has been finding ways to escape out of that cage and of course always break back in here. Um, so I don't know if him and Ron, maybe if they got into a little, a little spat and there was a little blood and it got on her. I don't know, but everyone looks good. So I'm not too concerned about it. But yeah, Bindi, she is just, She's so pretty though. You and Ron are gonna make some really pretty babies eventually. She's small for her age. She's just never been a huge grower, but that's fine. I mean, they're all gonna grow at their own pace. Shoot, she could hit five years old and then all of a sudden decide, boom, time to grow. But yeah, she's so cute. Now, of course, in here, we've got everyone's favorite boy, little Miss Diego. Mr. Diego. I don't know why I said Little Miss Diego. Oh, and once again, another light has gone out. So it looks like, hey, Phillips, uh, you know, if you want to sponsor us again, always looking. Goodness gracious. I do have a couple bulbs upstairs that we got over the weekend because I know we needed to get Tammy's done, but uh, I guess I'll have to go and grab it and swap out his too. Yeah, it is uh, definitely pretty much full, I'd say pretty much full breeding mode. Diego's been a little testy lately. Nothing bad, but like when Auburn comes in here, he kind of chases her around. But who wouldn't? Look at that boy. He's not a huge fan of having a camera in his face. But he's so handsome. So look at Yeah, so as you all know, Diego here, he is our high blue Lewis eye. Um, not showing his super high blues just quite yet. But it also could be nice. He's warm. Not as hot as I'd like him to be, but of course, it's pulled out. Um, we're really excited for the weather to finally warm up enough to where we can keep him outside in that little uh, L tanning salon. Uh, you know, that little outdoor sunning pen that if you saw a few videos ago that we made uh, mostly for Diego. But of course, we have it so we can swap, you know, swap lizards in and out of it so they can get some nice fresh sun and get some nice blues to them and just get nice and healthy. Run, run, as fast as you can, you'll never catch me. Oh, you're hiding in the turf. <laughs> all right, so quick little intermission here for the Aldabras. Um, that's all their, uh, their grass pellets that are that I give to them. Um, since these guys are a grassland species, that's what they are designed to eat most frequently, are lower nutrition, lower nutrition. Yeah, I guess lower nutrition, not quite as nutritious foods um, because of the way that their digestive system yeah, I can't talk today. Because of the way their digestive tracts and systems are, these guys along with like sulcata tortoises, they're designed where they're eating grasses and weeds, things like that, that don't have a lot of nutrients in them. So by evolution, these guys have developed that digestive system to where it takes longer for all this food to pass through so they can extract every little bit of nutrition out of it. So a lot of times, when you feed these guys too nutrient rich of food. So if they were eating, let's say nothing but the Missouri tortoise chow, different veggies and greens, Fred word, <laughs> different veggies and greens, you know, that of course are very nutritious that pretty much every other herbivore eats, that can cause them to not grow too fast and that can cause like pyramiding issues and whatnot, which of course we don't want. And then that's just, it's not that it's unhealthy for them to eat that way, but it's not what their bodies are designed to do. Um, cactus pads are really the biggest staple that I feed them. Thankfully, they're, uh, hi. Thankfully, the farmer's market, which is like a, a ethnic grocery store near me, sells them. They are very good form. They are very nutritious for them, but they're not like overly nutritious. Um, they got a lot of good hydration, and that's honestly what I, what most of their staple is. Sorry, I'm just giving them a little shower here. Fred word. Word, wordy, word, word. And I know that water dish looks dirty, but it's really not. Again, it's just 
it's just from those grass pellets. They just get in there and they just get everywhere. But they have almost warm enough to get these guys outside finally, so we can then tear this down and just redo it all and upgrade it all because they desperately need it. They already they're breaking off the wood panels that I had over the top that they used to be small enough they could they could hide in there. These guys are just such goobers, man. And then of course we got these guys here. I can't remember what's called down. We got Freddy, we got our little Sky. And that basking light has been out for a while, honestly, but the Mega Ray's up here with that slate tile. It actually gives them a really nice hot basking spot. So I haven't really worried too much about that spot. But yeah, let's uh let's get these goobers some food here. Let's see if we can get a, a cool little vantage point for y'all. That works. Hey Fritz! Oh, he didn't like me touching his tail. He'll be fine. Got some little dried poop. Just throw that away. Hey, can I pet you? Thank you. Yeah, you gotta get I gotta get pets before you get food. And then just dump it in. I really wish all these branches would stay standing, but they don't. Okay, let's move that over here. Get him in, because I'm gonna need to close this door here in a minute. Um, so like I was saying, when I was in there with Sully and Tammy, when you have a pair, separate feeding stations can be very important. Um, this is one of those times, because Freddy, he's not aggressive, but he doesn't really like sharing his food. He wants to be the one to eat. So I have a second dish that we keep up here, so that way our Sky Girl can eat. I'll just grab that. <laughs> Just right over. Hi, Chunky Monkey. Still really hoping that we'll get babies from them this year. What was that? Such an aggressive eater. Kind of looks like I'm in jail. Whoa. Oh my goodness, look at her. She's so pretty. Oh, Fred's. Oh, see, he's another one. She like him standing up, wanting to get some pets. Look at those nice blues coming through on his head. One, he's he's getting ready to shed here soon, so all of this will lighten up and freshen up. But it sounds like someone's being a little impatient over there, so why don't we go and take care of them? All right, then over here we of course have Baby G, aka John Carlo. Got his girl Gabby up there. You are just making all sorts of noise. You must be hungry. Golly, you are a pretty boy. So he comes from our friend Manny Hernandez, like I've talked about in the past. Um, Baby G was my first, my very, very first Cyclora. And the obsession has just clearly grown from there. But look at that, oh gosh, I can't even hold this camera anymore. Look at that pretty boy. Now these two, as of right now, I don't worry about a second bas a second basket spot. Um, a second feeding area, because they, from day one have always just gotten along just really beyond perfectly. I mean, they've just been a match made in heaven. There's never been like signs of dominance between the two of them. Um, gotta put that down, get that. you get a good look up my nose, do I got boogers? Should give this video a like if I got boogers. But anyway, um, they've always just gotten along so perfectly. Um, they've never chased at each other. You know, they never had any signs of dominance. They've just always, gotten along perfectly, which is rare. Um, so very, very, very thankful for that. But anyway, so now let's get over. We only got a few left. We got our girl, Peter, who I know y'all have just been dying to see. I don't know why Auburn still does that. That gets a little frustrating. Feeding Missouri, which he left the, the bowl up there. So it was just gonna dry out. But look at Peter. Look at how good her nose is looking. Look how good her body is looking after dropping those eggs. Hey, girly. <laughs> this camera is not... <laughs> I don't even have words for this lizard, y'all. What a doofus. I'm going to touch her tail. Boop. But yeah, she's looking great. I mean, her tail mass is doing great. Um, she's been putting her weight back on really, really nicely. So I'm... Super, super, super happy about that. Oh, it's falling down again. Uh, uh, this bag doesn't want to open. There we go. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy that she is doing so well. 
Um, God, what did I do? That whole bag just like ripped open the wrong way. Whatever. I'm just gonna come in here and throw lots of greens because that's what we do. We throw greens all over the floor. Gotta feed all the bugs that are in the room and everywhere in the world. <laughs> So yeah, so that'll be for Peter. Y'all don't need to look at my sweaty face because it is hot down here. You got space heaters on to keep this room nice and toasty. God, what am I doing? My camera work really is awful. Oh, oh, big yawn, big yawn. Here, want to kiss the camera again? Yeah, y'all are getting attacked by Peter. Stop being so angry. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going, you win. Okay, bye. She is just so funny, man. I'm so glad she ended up being okay. Because I would have hated if something would have happened to her. Um, but now in here, the psychopaths. I uh, might be able to get y'all a good look before they go running. These are our lesser Antillian iguanas. Definitely in all sorts of shed right now. And that's what they do. For no reason. I was not close to them. I am still a good foot, foot and a half outside of their cage with the camera. And they are just spazzes. <laughs> again, and that is our fault because again, we don't, what are you doing, man? We're not, uh, we haven't been interacting with them the way that we really should be. But what the heck? So that's Don Pablo, the boy. And then I don't, I can't keep track of which females which. So I just dropped them a whole bunch of greens. Normally I try and throw it up there on the shelf for them. But in this particular case, with them being on their basking spot like that, they were just going to freak out, and that really wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. Oh my goodness, girl, that was a big bite. Oh yeah, look at all that wire instead of that lizard. Love when that happens. Well, alrighty guys, hope y'all enjoyed watching. Leave a comment down below with who your favorite lizard is that we've got, or a favorite iguana. We talked earlier about a favorite rhino iguana, but I want to know who your favorite so thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet so you can keep up with all the super fun content that I like to make. And we'll catch you all in the next one.